On our last episode, we explored the abandoned research center at Lee Stocking Island. We went over to White Bay Key and hung out with the pigs on the beach. We dropped off our crew so that they could fly home. And then we swam with wild dolphins right off the back of the boat. So today, which was supposed to be a relaxing day, actually turned into a day of projects. We turned on the engine this morning to make water, and there was no water coming out the back, so we had to pull apart the raw water intake and clean the filter out. Um, so then we decided that we were going to put new fittings on some of the hosing that was there. What did we? What is it called? Uh, the barbs that connect the hose on either side of the seawater strainer were the wrong size and I just had put a worm back on super tight to get it to fit. Uh, planning to fix it at some later point. And uh, fortunately our buddies over on Duchess were back in the States and he picked me up a couple of fittings. And uh, so since I was going down there to try to fix the, the lack of water coming out of the back anyway, uh, we took that opportunity to put the new fittings on. So we put the new fittings on, and then Ben had to climb up the mast because for some reason our mast light, which is normally the brightest in every anchorage, uh, was not working. So we got that fixed, and... Just a corroded wire, no big deal. Just a corroded wire. And then we decided to pull apart the coupler. Yeah, this is a bigger for the, job. For the prop, and Ben's currently fixing that situation. This is a bigger job. See, this is how our prop shaft connects. It goes into here, and then there's a set screw to keep it from going in and out, and a key that keeps it from sliding side to side. Well, the, there's like a void on the inside of this where the key would slowly work its way and then come loose, leaving the set screw uh, having to take all the force from side to side and in and out and uh, eventually it just shears off the set screw. It happened once before we couldn't figure out why the set screw sheared off um, and then uh, we checked it fortunately before the set screw sheared off but the key had lost in the void and uh, so that gave us that gave us the hint that we needed. So now I'm gonna just take some uh, extra strength thread lock and put it into this groove and kind of permanently set the key into the coupler um, so that I don't have to worry about it sliding in or out or it would really just be able to go in. So that's all I'm doing. I'll put it back together. What are you doing there? <laughs> so our Tupperware container lids have fallen in a spot that I, one of the few spots of the boat I've never been in. Um, so our shelf where we keep our little Tupperware, there's a little gap between it and the hull of the boat back here. And we, we're missing two lids, so I think that's where they're at. Unfortunately, there's no access. So I'm trying to just like poke around with a snake. See if I can get it out. It's not working. After a day full of projects, we woke up the next morning and pulled up the hook and sailed just a few miles north back to Lee Stocking Island to hang out with some friends. So this really nice man in this mega yacht, all the way down there, for some reason flagged down Ben and Matt when they were out on the dinghy fishing and he told them that he could, he made so much extra water that 
they could come over with their jerry cans and fill up with water. So, like, we can't believe this is happening. Um, really, really nice of them. But right now, they're driving around collecting everybody's jerry cans because he said, tell your mates too. So they're getting everybody's jerry cans and they're gonna go fill up with water, which is totally awesome. And Ben also dropped his catch at my feet before he ran over to get water. So we have two conch and two lobsters. And yesterday they got five lobsters, eight lionfish, and a grouper. So they've been on fire lately. Why do we have a thingy full of jerry cans and empty beers? All right, so we were out spearfishing today. And hang on now. <sighs> gotta get his, his natural get, get the red glow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were out spearfishing today. And on our way back from spearfishing, we passed this mega yacht that had the that anchor over here. And he just kind of leans over and gives us the thumbs up and we give him a thumbs up and he looks like he wants to talk so we slow down and kind of motor over to him and he chats us up for a minute and then it's like hey we made a bunch of extra water so if you guys need to fill up your jerry can or something just let us let me know and of course we are all running low on water at this point and our freaking water maker just shit the bed on us so we run back at jerry cans go go back, fill him up, and while we're waiting, he says, well, each jerry can comes with a beer and comes and gives us cold beers so we can drink beer on the back of his mega yacht as we fill up our jerry cans with freshly made RO water. <laughs> like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> just <laughs> on it, man. We got the Those are nice. We help each other out. So, yeah, he's been cruising down here for like 10 years or something like that. Yeah, 10 years. Pay it forward. Nice. Pay forward. I said I'd love to return the beer at some point. He said, just pay it forward. Awesome. Tink, could you grab like a, I don't know, a, a not that nice knife? Maybe one of our steak knives? Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do this process over like, the side uh, or on the dinghy or something. You mean like one of these? next day, everyone piled onto the little red boat and we sailed a few miles south to explore a new spearfishing spot. While we waited for the current to go slack, the ladies grabbed their tubes and beverages and jumped right in. Oh, 